there guys, it's Carly. Welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new here. In today's video, I've rounded up the fam again and we're heading on another South Coast staycation. Heading up north of Wollongong, we are chasing waterfalls and going to an apple orchard and the usual pub stop. So if that's something you're keen to see, grab yourself a cuppa and let's get into the video. Our first stop of the day and actually the main event of this trip was Madden's Falls up in Darks Forest. So to get there we would take the Princess Motorway north up past Wollongong and rather than taking the Sydney turn off we instead took the Bulleye turn off back onto the Princess Highway. You continue on there for actually not that long and you'll see a very clearly signposted left hand turn to Darks Forest and that road takes you both directly to Madden's Falls and the Apple Orchard. Madden's Falls is only open during the weekdays however there are sort of no gates or fences that would prohibit you from getting access to the falls on the weekends. Mum packed us a cute little picnic breakfast so we had a quick cuppa stop and food in the back of the car before heading on the short walk down to the falls. The walk itself is very easy and would be quite accessible for people of all ages. You could also bring your swimmers and have a quick dip in the water that feeds the falls. However, in talking to some of the staff at the Apple Orchard, we learnt that the falls don't run regularly and that you need to time your trip after some heavy rain to make sure that they are flowing beautifully. We just finished up at the waterfalls which was well worth it. It's honestly probably the best waterfalls I've been to in terms of the fact that you are actually so close and you can get right on top of them. We're heading back to the car now and it's 10 o'clock. The orchard has just opened so we're actually going to head over and give that a look. So the sign here says that it's about a 45 minute round trip but we actually found it probably only took us about 10 minutes to get down to the falls so super easy to get there. So from the car park here we're literally walking straight across the road to the Glen Burnie Orchard and we're going to try some dark cider, my drink of choice.
We just finished up at the Apple Shack and all of us managed to pick up something. I grabbed myself a four pack of mixed apple cider and also a cloudy apple juice and both mum and Lily grabbed a few things as well. The staff there were really helpful and they had a great selection of natural and handmade products that you can pick up. Generally speaking, they're open for apple picking, but on this day, which is a Monday, they currently weren't doing it. But uh, fantastic little stop on our journey. Now we're gonna head to our next destination. And our next stop got us back on the Princess Highway and we took that south, taking a left-hand turn out to Sublime Point Lookout. This has a fantastic vantage point over the entire Wollongong area and surrounds and is definitely worth a stop if you are heading up this way. Back on the Prince's Highway, we headed north once again and took the exit out to Stanwell Park and through Stanwell Tops, stopping for a quick pit stop there to get a great vantage point. Our next destination was the Sea Cliff Bridge, where we were going to put our walking shoes on and walk from one end of the bridge to the other. Cliff Bridge is done. We walked all the way from one side to the other and have worked up quite an appetite. So we're planning on heading to the Scarborough Hotel for lunch, but now is a little driving tour of the Sea Cliff Bridge. It's so kind a devotion that brings me down. The Scarborough Hotel has recently been renovated and sits on top of the cliff face overlooking the ocean with fantastic views. It has plenty of outdoor seating and great food. Prices are pretty much what you would expect for this type of location, but it's a fantastic place to go for a beer and a burger on a hot summer's day. On our way back down the coast, we made a quick pit stop in at Shell Harbour Square to do a little bit of perusing through the shops and picked up some takeaway coffees before heading to our final stop of the day.
Kayama was our last location on today's adventure. I mentioned to mum and dad that even though Kayama is super close to where we live, I'd actually never stopped in and visited the blowhole, which is one of its famous landmarks. To get there, you head through the main street, continuing out to the peninsula, where you'll find both the blowhole and the lighthouse. Admittedly, the blowhole wasn't really worth all of the fuss, but it was great to hop out, stretch our legs and enjoy some of the scenery. And if you are down this way, I would definitely recommend just stopping in. Kayama is a quaint little town and worth a wander. After that quick little pit stop, it was back in the car and back home down the coast. So I started off today's journey being picked up from the Jervis Bay turn off at 7.30 and after all our travels and pit stops along the way, finished up in Ulladulla at five o'clock. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me on this South Coast staycation. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I put out new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. With that being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your week and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.